Hi students, in the last classes we have studied what is the matrix, its definition, types, then order, then addition of matrices, subtraction of matrices, scalar number of a matrix, and the properties of addition and the scalar number. In this class, we are going to study about matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is not just like addition, it is somewhat different. Let us see how we can multiply two matrices. Two matrices are conformable for multiplication. Conformable means the sure. Conformable for multiplication. If the number of two matrices, matrices are conformable for multiplication. If the number of rows, if the number of columns of columns of first matrix, number of columns of first matrix equal to number of rows of second of matrix. That is, two matrices are possible for multiplication only if the number of columns of first matrix equal to number of rows of second matrix. Let me take some example. A, B, is A, B possible? Suppose A is a matrix of order 3 by 2, B is a matrix of order 2 by 2. Here, number of columns of first matrix equal to number of rows of second matrix, isn't it? Column of first matrix is equal to rows of second matrix. If these two are same, then we can multiply these two matrices. And uh, here multiplication is possible. And the product matrix is of order, order of A B. Order of A B is 3 by 2. This is the order of the matrix. Product matrix 3 by 2. Isn't it? Now we take another matrix. First matrix is of order 3 by 3. Second matrix is of order 3 by 1. Here the number of columns of first matrix is equal to the number of columns of second matrix. So matrix multiplication is possible. And here also we can multiply these two matrices and this is of order 3 by 1. Here the order of the matrix is 3 by 1. The product matrix contains three rows and uh, one column. Another example: three by three, two by three. Here, number of columns of first matrix is not equal to number of rows of second matrix, isn't it? So we cannot find the product of these two matrices. It is product is not possible. Another example is. A is of order 2 by 3, B is of order 2 by 2, A and B are of the same order, but matrix multiplication is not possible because the number of columns of A is not equal to number of rows of B, so multiplication is not possible here. 
yellow plane will be same values. If A is a matrix of order m by p and uh, B is a matrix of order p by n, then here number of columns of A is equal to number of rows of B. So multiplication is possible and the product matrix is here multiplication is possible and it is of the order m by n. This is the general code. First matrix is of order m by p and second matrix is of order p by n. Then matrix multiplication is possible and the order of the product matrix is m by n. The extremes are the order of the product matrix. To find the product of two matrices, first we have to check whether it is possible for multiplication or not, isn't it? Now let us discuss it with some examples. A is equal to 3, 2, 1, 4, 1, 3. B is equal to another matrix. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1. First of all, let me check whether it is possible for multiplication or not. So, A is a formula. 2 by 3, it has 2 rows and 3 columns. B is a formula. Here, 3 rows and 2 columns. 3 rows and 2 columns. If you write this, you will get an idea about the product matrix. That is, AB is a product 2 by 2. Now, we have an idea about the order. product matrix. The product matrix is a product 2 by 2. It has 2 rows and 2 columns. Now, how can we find the product of these two matrices? A B is equal to five A three two one four one three. Now write B. B is one two two three and uh, three one. I am writing these two matrices like this. How to multiply these matrices? Be careful. Multiplication of two matrices is somewhat difficult than addition. So, you should care for it. How to multiply these two matrices? Listen here. I am selecting the first row of the first matrix and uh, selecting the First column of the second matrix, isn't it? I am selecting the first row of the first matrix and uh, selecting the first column of the second matrix. Now, first element of the product matrix is obtained by first element in the product matrix is obtained by taking the sum of the product of corresponding elements of first row of first matrix to the corresponding elements of first column of the second matrix, isn't it? Here I am taking the sum of the product of the corresponding elements of first row and first column. So 3 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 1 into 3, isn't it? So 3 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 1 into 3. This is the first element of the product matrix. Now I am finding the second element of the product matrix. I am selecting the second column of second matrix. Second column of second matrix. And uh, first row into first column. So we get first element. First row into second column. Thus we get second element. How can we uh, Taking the sum of the product of first row and second column. That is 3 into 2 
प्लस टू इंटू थ्री प्लस वन इंटू वन इज एंड सो आई एम टेलिंग थ्री इंटू टू प्लस टू इंटू थ्री प्लस वन इंटू वन नाउ देयर इज नो मोर कॉलम सो वी कैन क्रॉस दैट सो वी कैन क्रॉस द ब्रैकेट इज एंड नाउ सिंगली Here I am selecting the second row. The second element is second row into corresponding elements of second row into first row. So four into one plus one into two plus three into three. Four into one plus one into two plus three into three. Isn't it? Again four into two four into two plus One into three plus three into one. Is it four into two plus one into three plus three into one? Here we get two rows and two columns. That is the product matrix. Here one more thing is there. The second element, second element R cell. Here the second element is R cell. That is a check. So three into one is three. Plus two into two, four plus three. Now six plus six plus one. Now four plus two plus nine. Eight plus three plus three. Therefore, the product matrix is three plus four plus three ten thirteen then six plus seven fourteen fourteen. This is the product matrix, and the product matrix is of order two by two, isn't it? So this way we can find the product of two matrices. How to find the product of two matrices? The first element of the product matrix is obtained by taking the sum of the product of the corresponding elements of the first row of the first matrix to the first column of the second matrix. That is the first element in the product matrix. The second element of the product matrix, second element in the first row of the product matrix, is obtained by taking the sum of the product of the corresponding elements of the first row of the first matrix to the corresponding elements of the second column of the second matrix is it similarly first element in the second row of the product matrix is obtained by taking the sum of the product of the corresponding elements of the second row of the first matrix to the corresponding elements of the first column of the second matrix and the second element in the second row of the product matrix is obtained by taking the sum of the product of the corresponding elements of second row of the first matrix to the second the column of the second matrix and so on the process is continuous for if we have any other columns or any other rows isn't it now let me check another example another question is Three, one, two, four, and two, three. Here, first matrix is of order two by two. Second matrix is of order two by one. So multiplication is possible, and the product matrix is of order two by one, and it has two rows and uh, one. Now, how to multiply? Select first row, then select second row. Here, select only one column, that is first row. Now, first element of the product matrix is obtained by the matrix has two rows and one column. Three into two plus one into three. Now there is no columns, so we can close the.
sign x second element is again 2 into 2 plus 4 into 3 so 6 plus 3 4 plus 12 uh, so the matrix is 9 16 9 16 this matrix is of order 2 by 1 it has 2 rows and uh, 1 power uh, is it let me take another example still. First matrix is 3, 1, 5. And the second matrix.
is not always always commutating commutative property means a b is equal to b a if a and b be any two matrices then we cannot say a b is not always equal to b example a is equal to matrix 2 3 1 4 b is another matrix 1 3 2 4 here find a b first find a b a b is equal to <coughs> 2 3 1 4 into another matrix is 1 3 2 4 now we multiply these two matrices how can we multiply the matrices row in the column 2 plus 6 now 6 plus 15 next 1 plus 8 and uh, 3 plus 20 so it is 8 21 9 23 this is matrix AB which is equation number 1 now find BA BA is first find B 1 3 2 5 and then write A A is uh, 2 3 1 4 here 2 plus 3 then 3 plus 12 then 4 plus uh, 5 and uh, 6 plus 20 so we have 5 uh, 15 9 26 from these two relations we can say that AB is not equal to from 1 and 2 we have AB is not equal to BA Sometimes A B is equal to B A. Sometimes A B is not equal to B A. Isn't it? Sometimes we cannot find the product of these two matrices also. Here, these two are square matrices, so we can uh, find the product either A B or B A. We will suppose a matrix which is of order A is 3 by 2, B is 3, 2, uh, 2 by 2. Here, A B is possible. A B possible A B and what about B A B A is equal to B is uh, here I am taking 2 by 2 matrix here B is 2 by 2 and uh, A is 3 by 2 here B A is not possible isn't it now second property is matrix multiplication is associated If A, B and C be any three matrices, if A, B and uh, C be any three matrices conformable for matrices conformable for multiplication. Then AB into C is equal to A into B. This is the associative property. For simple calculation, I am taking A2 by 2 matrix. Here C is also A2 by 2 matrix, that is 2, 4, 1, 1. 
Here, A is equal to A 21 by 23. Now we are going to find LHS. A, B into C. Here, A, B is 8, 21, 9, 23. And the C matrix is 2, 2, 3, 1, 1. 3, 1, 1. So, 30, 16, plus 21. Then, 24 plus 21. Then, 18 plus 23. Then, 27 plus 23. Therefore, we have 37, 45, 41, then 50. This is equation number 1. Find BC. So, B matrix is 1, 3, 2, 5. And the C matrix is 2, 3, 1, 1. C matrix is 2, 3, 1, 1. So we find BC. BC is equal to 2 plus 3, then 3 plus 3, then 4 plus 5, then 6 plus 5. So we get 5, 6, 9, 11. This is BC. Now, RHS is equal to RHS is equal to A into BC. RHS is equal to A into BC. Is equal to A is this matrix and BC is 5, 6, 9, 11. Isn't it? 5, 6, 9, 11. That is equal to that is 10 plus 27, 12 plus 33, 5 plus 36, 6 plus 44. So we get 37, that is 45, now 41. And uh, 50. This is equation number 2. From 1 angle, we can say that. From 1 angle, A into BC, AB into CC equal to A into BC. That is, matrix multiplication is associated, isn't it? Next, properties. Existence of multiplicative identity. Existence for any matrix A. There exists an identity matrix. There exists an identity matrix I. For any matrix means any square matrix. Because uh, I is a square matrix. Identity matrix. Identity matrix of the same order same order then a into i is equal to then a into i is equal to a is equal to i into a 
if you multiply a matrix by an identity matrix it gives the matrix itself so a is equal to 2 1 3 2 identity matrix here is 2 i2 is an identity matrix of order 2 1 0 0 1 find a into y so 2 1 3 2 into i matrix is 1 0 0 1 multiply a into y that is 2 plus 0 then 0 plus 1 3 plus 0 then 0 plus 2 so we have 2 1 3 2 which is same as a which is same as a similarly we can know that i into a is also a that is multiplicative identity identity matrix for a given matrix is i isn't it next property is distributive law distributive law if a b and c be any three matrices then a into b plus c is equal to a b plus AC and uh, A plus B into C is equal to AC plus BC. There are two distributive laws. First one is left distributive law. First one is left distributive law. Second one is right distributive law. Second one is what? Right distributive law. Left distributive and right distributive. I will show you the left distributive law. You have to do as a whole order the right distributive law, isn't it? For example, A is equal to I am taking a 2 into matrix here 1, 2, 2, 3. B is equal to another matrix 3, 1, 2, 3. And uh, C is another 2 into matrix 1, 0, 2, 1. Now first find B plus C. B plus C is adding B and C. 3 plus 1, 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 3 plus 1 is 4. This is B plus. Now, let us say A into B plus C. A matrix is 1, 2, 2, 3. Into B plus C is B plus C matrix is 4, 1, 4, 4. Isn't it? Now, 1 into 4, 4 plus uh, 2 into 4, 8. 1 into 1, 1 plus 8. 2 into 4, 8 plus 12. And 2 into 1, 2 plus 12. So here, 12, 9, 20, 24. 14. This is equation number 1. Here we find B plus C, then A into B plus C, that is LHS of first expression. Now find A B. Here A is 1, 2, 2, 3. And uh, B is 3, 1, 2, 3. Finding the product of these two matrices. So we have 1 into 3, 3 plus 2 into 2, 4. Again 1 plus 6. Now 6 plus 6. Now 2 plus 9.
You have to do the second property of distributive law. Now we have one more uh, notice here. If A and B be a two matrices, if A and B be any two matrices. And if here let and if A B is equal to zero, A B is equal to zero means a zero matrix. A zero matrix. Then first condition is either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. This is the first condition. Another condition is also there. It is not necessary. Not necessary. That one matrix. One matrix is a zero matrix. There are two conditions. If A and B are two matrices conformable for multiplication 
and if a b is equal to 0 means either a is equal to 0 if a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 then a b is equal to 0 and uh, one more condition is there it is not necessary that any one matrix uh, is a 0 matrix for which a b is equal to 0 we will illustrate the two conditions example a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 0 is a 0 matrix of order to 0, 0, 0, 0 here if you find a in the 0 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 in the 0 0 matrix is 0, 0, 0, 0 so 1 into 0 is 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0 again 1 into 0 is 0 plus 0 so here also 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 so we get a 0 matrix isn't it? 0 matrix is denoted by with 0 now another condition is again let a is equal to let a is equal to 0 minus 1 0 2 and uh, b is equal to another matrix two four zero zero these are not zero matrices now finding the product of these two matrices zero into two zero plus minus one into zero zero 0 into 4 is 0 plus minus 1 into 0 again 0 0 into 2 is 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0 0 into 4 is 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0 again we get a 0 matrix here AB is equal to 0 here AB is 0 but A is a non 0 matrix B is also a non 0 matrix that is if the product of two matrices is equal to 0, which does not imply that either A is equal to 0 or B is equal to 0. In this exercise 3.3, we have this much portions. You should practice the exercise well. Okay.